You're watching the Market Moon Lord, where we merge the matrix with the stars. I'm your host, Jason Alexander. Okay, so today was a great day, um, mainly because we wanted to see um, us starting to head back up after that full moon drop, right? Um, or dip, we're going to call it a full moon dip, right? Uh, so now we're headed back up perfectly. Now, if you look at GameStop, uh, that moon phase line has been there since like for like years, like 2022, right? Um, and today we crossed it um, and you can see it went right back underneath it, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, you know, from a moon phase trading perspective, right? Uh, we want to see the big pop leading into a new moon or a big pop leading into a going in for a full moon pop or a new moon pop, right? So hypothetically speaker speaking, this would be more of a build up moment, right? So the fact that we're already like, you know, making nice moves, um, to me, it signals only the beginning, right? Uh, the big move will come further on potentially, right? New moon, full moons, right? Um, however, um, today, as mentioned yesterday, it was a big day in the sky. We got past the moon going across Mars, the planet of war, which was also opposite Pluto, the planet of death. Today, we got past that without any, um, you know, big news headlines that we're going to bring the market down and whatnot uh, with war and stuff like that. So today was a good day because I do think we should be able to make it throughout the throughout the week without any type of war no news, which will give GameStop a chance to uh, explode right now. Um, tomorrow. Let me pull this up. OK, so. You know. We aren't going to just look at the moon phases. We're going to look at the actual stars as well to give us more information, right? Um, and the, and this was was, was a, what I was worried about. This right here. We, we literally just got past it. The big event um, that what could have been like war potential and that sort of thing would have happened to me right there when it was across from Pluto zero degrees, conjunct um, moon, conjunct Mars, right? And making a trine to the sun. So tomorrow, since the sun's in the 29th degree, we know the 29th degree and the zero degree is are very potent degrees, the most potent, potent degrees for energy, right? Tomorrow, the sun leaves Scorpio, goes into Sagittarius. This is a brand new energy. Sagittarius is Jupiter. It represents expansion, fire, fast moving energy. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go into a brand new energy, a shift of consciousness. We're out of that Scorpio intensity, right? Now we're onto the Sagittarius optimism okay sagittarius deals with optimism it deals with freedom it deals with um you know just uh following your heart and going after your passions right uh and it's a very optimistic expansive sign it wants to travel wants to explore wants to do new things etc so i do expect the market this month to be more optimistic coming into sagittarius right uh the end of the month anyway now, I will say we're coming into a Mercury retrograde. I'm not going to get too into it, but I do think this the rest of the week looks pretty solid for some nice green lights as far as not worrying about crazy uh, war news, which is what I was super concerned about yesterday. And um, today we're over that, right? So I'm not concerned about that anymore. We see Bitcoin. It did the stall out during a full moon, but it's clearly headed towards that uptrend, right? Um, and AMC also went past our lunch pad for the first time um, since before. Since we were when we had that full moon dip, we dipped underneath the eclipse launch pad, right? GameStop's way past the Tesla's way past like AMC wasn't right today. It kind of shot above it, which was very bullish, a good sign. Uh, but we're not there yet, so I'm not gonna really pile into calls until we get to at least 450 and kind of hold support there. Uh, you know, I already I'm already holding some, but I'm not going crazy with it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we have spy, spy. I don't know. Um, it's it's did it go positive today? No, it went negative. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure about SPY. Um, we still got to see how SPY plays out. Again, we're in the waning moon. It's not really the time where you're going to see a lot of bullish energy. But the fact that we're getting some bullish energy with GameStop is super bullish, right? Like we got a big move on GameStop today. It's more, I would expect some things more like this or more like what Tesla did, uh, just as long as we kind of you know, we're showing like we're building that energy leading into that new moon based on the moon phase analysis, right? Again, uh, new energy with uh, 
son going to Sagittarius. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking for a uh, continuation, new energy, new optimism. I think it's a good time to maybe, um, you know, take a little bit of uh, risk, right? Uh, and see how it goes, right? Now, I will mention this. Um, I am a cancer uh, midheaven. For those who don't know what that means, that means um, my chart is ruled the career sector, what I do in the world is ruled by the moon, right? Um, cancer midheaven. So, you know, if you want to know if you're ruled by Mercury, which deals with numbers and analyzing from the midheaven, from the career sector, right? You would just look at your chart, look what's really the midheaven, right? So let me show you what that means, right? The MC is the top part of your chart. And it kind of just tells you how you are going to be in the world career wise, right? Mine is ruled by this by the moon, ironically, right? That will that will tell me, right? Typically during a waning period of the moon where the energy is going down, right? I'm not gonna have as much energy to kind of go out in the world and do things, right? Today was really hard for me to to even make this video because I just didn't have that energetic pull, right? I had a lot of energy going into that full moon, and then my energy is kind of like, you know, kind of stay stalling out a little, you know, kind of not as high, right? Um, and you know, that's kind of where, um, where we kind of are from an energetic standpoint, looking at the moon for everyone. Right. But for me, especially, uh, I will say that, uh, I may not put out videos every day during this waning period. Uh, but when things start heating up, when I see things heating up, I will try to drop a video. Right. Right now, I would say everything is going steady. Everything is going pretty decent. Um, and we just got to keep following the price action, um, and making adjustments and being fluent and all that good stuff. Right. So if you guys appreciate this, um, make sure you keep watching the videos. Uh, this is DD. You literally cannot get anywhere else period. Right. Um, and you know, I got my eyes on the chart at all times. Things are looking pretty interesting for a, uh, eventful, uh, rest of the week. All right. So until next time, I'm Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon and Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. You're watching Mark and Moon Lord, where we merge and mix with the stars. Until next time, peace.